obviously probably as fast as anybody we've seen in a long time. Um, so it's, it's going to be a big challenge. Our ability to be able to mix it up sometimes on and change up, um, you know, the looks and, and maybe even coverage concepts at times. But, uh, you know, the, the, the big playability is the thing that, uh, you know, the, the, I think the unique thing that he has to be able to not just take the, knock the top off of it. He'll, they'll throw the screens to him and the things back inside that, that a lot of times them, you know, Devin Smith types of guys don't do as much of. Hey, Luke, you guys have um, a few players in this defense that you guys brought as five-star prospects like Vaughn and Joey. And, um, you know, was Joey a five-star? He was. Was he? Sure. Maybe it was a highly we'll rated four. Um, okay, Raekwon. There you go. Okay. We um, call Raekwon a five-star. That's why I say that. <laughs> um, the conversion rate, there have been a lot of time. This program has always brought in five stars, but in the recent past, you guys have not only brought them in, but you've had program-altering players who have come from that and became what they're supposed to be. How have you guys harbored these <laughs> these guys and, and made sure that they lived up to their potential? And can you maybe speak on how Von Bell might have helped change this program under the Urban Meyer era, having come from the South and maybe changing the trend of things? No, I don't know. I mean, again, it's there, there's some two and three star players that are pretty good. Actually, I think one of them's here with us now, mm -hmm. and, and Darren Lee. So I mean, that there's you know you could look at all the rankings and, and who gets drafted in the first round of the NFL, and there's not as many five stars as you would think. The reality is it's, it's putting the guys in the right situation. And I don't mean scheme-wise. I mean, you take a Von Bell, you take a Raekwon McMillan, whether they're from the South or from the West or from wherever, and you put them into a program, into a culture that they fit. You know, I think that has something to do with the ability for them to, to not just survive their three, four years, but to, to thrive in their three and four or five years of, of a program. And I think that's the unique thing that we've done. Raekwon was a kid that came here. He could be successful in any program, but he really fits the culture of what it is that we do, the, the humility, the things we ask him to do, um, the, the definition of leadership and making others around him better. Um, so he has a true ability to thrive in this atmosphere where maybe he'd be a little bit different in, in a different atmosphere. Um, great players, uh, Von Bell the same way. And sometimes you get others that, you know, maybe they are five-star, maybe they are the highest recruited guy in the country and maybe they don't quite fit your not your scheme but more of your culture and things and they have a harder time adapting to, to the things you ask them to do. Can you speak on the pressure that they face when they get here and what they have to do to live up to those things because of course Darren Lee's a two star and you guys not everybody yeah, you, you know, get. I, I, think, I think a lot of times more of the pressure comes on those guys that are closer at home you know because everybody knows them, whether they are a five star or they aren't a five star I mean it, to be honest with you in our program nowadays every guy's got pressure they walk in that door whether they're Craig Freda and Joe Berger who are walk-ons they're expected to act like pros and to perform like pros and we don't just mean on the football field we mean in the classroom in the community and a lot of things that they do so that's what I kind of think I look at it as a, it's a cultural thing I mean you don't want to bring a guy into this program that you don't think can handle the culture and the things that we ask him to do or else they don't have a chance to be successful no matter how good they are Athletically, you mentioned Von Bell. He was just here. Do you regret? Does the coaching staff regret not giving him a chance earlier in his freshman year? No, I think a lot of times the, 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 the best situation is almost like a guy, you know. And some of those guys that kind of got to build themselves up through those. It's harder sometimes. That you're thrust into the into the spotlight right away, and we've seen it with players in the past. You know, what have you had to work towards? to get to where you are. And it's harder when obviously you're a great player, but if I had my way, I'd love to see guys have to come in and battle their butt off for the first year or two, you know? Because what are they doing? They're, they're making themselves better and stronger and tougher, and, and they're, they're better all around, not just player, person, everything that they do, which gives them a better chance to be successful at the next level as well. Um, so everybody's got a little different route at which you got to go, and I, I like to see guys that have to battle through. He, he just mentioned that, yeah, go ahead. Okay. He, he mentioned, he mentioned that, he mm -hmm. that it eats at him that you guys gave up a pretty big pass play in the Big Ten Championship a few years ago, and he thinks that if he was on the field, that might We gave up happened. a big big pass play in the uh, in the Orange Bowl, if he does. <laughs> we don't remember. <laughs> he did have an option, but that's beside yeah. the point. <laughs> there are growing pains with young guys. And the great thing is, is you want guys like him to have that attitude to say, you know, I want to play, I want to be out there now, but I'm willing to work for it. And I think that's the thing. You know, every guy at the end, of, towards the end of their career, starts to look back and say, "What could else could I have done? How could I have done more? How could I have done this? What could have got me more prepared?" Um, and that's, you know, we do the same thing. You take a couple of hits on the defensive.